Hey guys, today we are gonna be fixing up this doll. I got her second hand and my first thought was, nice, she has a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. But what strikes me more than the dirt and the paint and the bad haircut is how sad this doll looks. She looks like she's had a rough life. Her expression to me almost looks vacant. And I think that if anyone deserves a fresh start, it's this doll. So let's take a look at her and get into her condition. Her arms and legs have every stain imaginable. I see dirt, paint, white scuff marks, shine marks. There are some kind of weird spider vein looking lines on her legs. And then on her arms, there's some kind of purple mark that looks like it's almost soaked into the vinyl. All of these are gonna have to come out. The front of her fabric body has a spot and it looks like somebody tried to take it out and they were unsuccessful. So now it has the leftover crusty white spot with a halo of some kind of stain remover around it. The back side of her fabric is in pretty good condition except for this one spot where there appears to be some kind of paint. Her face. She has some orange paint on her. She's definitely really dirty. She has scuff marks, shine marks, and I don't think you can see it on the camera, but there seems to be those same purple shadows that were on her arms around her eyes. Her hair is definitely her statement piece. She has a really short cut. It's very jagged. You can see a lot of the inner pieces of the wig cap in the back and on the top. And then she has these few artistic strands that come down the left side of her body that just give her a unique look. So what I'm thinking about doing to her is giving her a complete makeover top to bottom. I'm going to be cleaning all the stains off of her arms, her legs, and her face. I'm going to be dismantling every part of her body so that it can be properly cleaned, including her eyes. Um, she's going to get new stuffing because I don't know what was sprayed on her. Her fabric is going to go into the washing machine so that the stains can come out. And this doll is definitely going to get a new wig. So let's get started.
and she is done. I am really happy with how she turned out. She looks brighter and refreshed. She looks happier and more confident. She even almost looks like she's holding her head up higher. She just looks so very different from the girl with the downturned eyes and the dirty body and the bad hair that she was just a little bit ago. I love how cute she looks in this little black dress and these little knee-high black boots that she has on. I think it really complements her look overall and because she came from being such a dirty doll with the dirty fabric and having absolutely no clothes on at all, anything in this arena was an improvement. I still wanted to give her something that was just a little dressier and, you know, flashier. Her arms and her legs came out perfectly. Every scuff mark, every paint mark, every smudge, every different type of stain that she had on her fully came out, including the spider vein markings on her legs. When you have a doll with a lot of stains, you don't quite know how it's gonna go. So it's nice that on this particular doll, I didn't really have to work too hard, which is always a nice thing. She definitely went easy on me. Her fabric body went into the wash with just some gentle soap and came out looking pristine. So that was just another lucky move. The monster stain on the front completely came out and I was really happy to see that the paint stains on the back side of her also just washed away. So after that, I was able to restuff her and send her on her way. Her face looks so much better. The paint stains, the scuffs, the dirt, the marks, everything came up and her skin looks so much healthier and cleaner and brighter now. Getting all of the paint out of her eyelashes and inside her eye socket did take a bit of tedious work, but it is so clean now and it's so nice to see her without all that extra gunk around her eyes. Her hair is such an improvement. It's nearly impossible to have done a bad job on that one. I don't think it could have gotten any worse than it was. It was up from here no matter what. I really love how her long blonde hair is such a departure from the very short brown hairdo that she had before. And I think it actually really suits her face and gives her a really fresh look. I also love that this wig is so thick and silky and it gives her so much more of a luxurious feeling when it comes to her hair than the hair texture that she had before. I like finding the grossest, dirtiest, most disgusting dolls that I can and either restoring them back to who they were or transforming them into something else. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Support us so that we can continue to bring this type of content to you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.